This is a tutorial on how to download Ring videos uh, using a little jQuery script that I wrote. If you have no idea how to use jQuery, never used it before, that's totally okay. Uh, it's a very simple process where you can just copy and paste what I'm doing. I will preface this with, if anybody ever tells you to run jQuery in your browser, uh, don't do that. That's a massive security concern. Uh, you will be able to look at all of the code that I've shared and you can see it's, it's innocuous and you can see uh, what is happening. Uh, I shared this on a Reddit feed, downloading entire video history in bulk, and then the this video also has hopefully all the code in the description. So the first thing you have to do is sign into Ring, get to your history, and then you have to click on this manage button to where you see the checkboxes. And then what you're going to want to do is scroll down so that all of the history shows up for those videos. So if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see it starts to auto load or whatever, and then it, it brings in the next set. I've also got a little script I'll share with you to scroll down for that. So here's all the code you're going to need. So first you need to run uh, where you're going to add jQuery to the current Chrome instance. That's if it doesn't already exist. Uh, this is a way to scroll to the bottom. So you can do it manually if you're going to do it just, the, just once. That's, that's fine as well. Um, and then uh, this clear interval stops it from scrolling. And then you can do uh, this process. So this first one, you, you don't want to run this first part. Well, because basically if you want to like select something first. So what this does is it clicks the deselect option. Um, and what that does is uh, make sure basically that you can basically just run the script over and over and over again. So I'm going to walk you through what this does. Uh, it makes these variables, uh, which set them to zero. So there's the kick, click count, the number download, the number remaining. Uh, this gets all the elements and then reverses the order. Uh, I did this because uh, basically if you're on like a time crunch or something, and especially if you have a ton of these videos to download, I want to download the oldest ones first uh, because then that uh, allows you to get them like before they expire. Cause normally you have like 60 days or something like that. You can only select 50 at a time. So this click count goes up and basically what this does, and this might be different for you. Uh, and so there's this, uh, if this doesn't work, it's the, probably the reason why is that this class has changed or something like that. So what it does is this goes through and it finds um, all of the, the instances of this div uh, class, which what that is is basically the name of something that's inside of there. Then what it searches for is um, if this exists, then it probably has this downloaded text inside of it. And so what this is doing is saying if there is, it basically if this div does not exist, then that means that's probably not been downloaded. Uh, if I don't th know if any of these show is downloaded. Yeah, none of these shows downloaded. But basically whenever you do download a video, there's a little tag that shows up and it says downloaded. And so essentially the script is looking for that and it's gonna skip any of the ones that have been downloaded. That's how you avoid downloading the same files over and over and over again. Um, and so then it just says check mark, it looks for this, and that check mark uh, is this right here. And so you'll see that it, that it checks it. Uh, this little script down here goes through and it looks for all of them to find that have been downloaded uh, or this one is ha have not. That's how many remain. This one is how many have been downloaded. And so it tells you how many have been downloaded. It outputs that. And then it tells you how many remain to be downloaded. And then it actually clicks the download button for you. So let me just walk you through. So the first thing just we'll copy and paste all this. This is adding jQuery in order to run these scripts. You have to open uh, the, the, the Chrome tools basically. So normally I just click F12 to open this. So if you do F12, uh, it opens the, this dev tools feature. Um, it's over here. It shows as well. I think it's more tools. Yeah. Developer tools, uh, is, is that it'll open this. So this might open like on the bottom side of your screen here. That's fine too. It doesn't really matter. I I'm a web developer. So this thing's always open over here. So if you see what's new, you don't need that. You want to be in console. So again, I copy and paid it, pasted that, that code up here. Uh, I think you should be able to run all of it in one shot. Um, if you, if you want run into this, then what you want to do is copy and do each one of these lines individually. So like, I'm going to paste that one in, then I'm going to copy and paste the next one in, then I'm going to copy and paste the next one in, then I'm going to copy and paste the last one in. So yeah, so that, that should be the only time you have to run it individually. 
Um, but if you run into that, that's what you can do. So just copy each one of these lines one at a time. The next thing I'm going to do is the scroll to bottom thing. Uh, this slash, double slash, if you don't know code in front of that comments this out. But I just include that in there because it makes it really easy for me to then just copy this and stop it. So you can see what it's doing on the left hand side there. Uh, I'm going to copy that and paste it here. It's going to keep scrolling down. Another special note. So I've actually downloaded all of these files. Um, and so then um, basically it's still not showing it. It's not showing the downloaded button. Uh, I'm going to stop this from scrolling by running that clear interval code. You'll see that's there. Uh, and it's it's stopped so it's gonna roll so now I can scroll back up if this is still active It'll force you to scroll down again So you'll know like the clear interval didn't run correctly or something like that, but I'm gonna scroll uh, Back up and you can see they've, they've loaded or whatever All right, so we've run that we've scrolled all the way down which means you're at the very very bottom um, Obviously, I didn't do that, but hopefully you will on your machine and now we're ready to run um, This code so the very first time that you run it um, you you need to not run this uh, I'm sorry this the the deselect um, or click the the deselect which is which is this right here so this changes from select multiple to uh, deselect um, so actually I tell you what just to make your life really easy if you don't know any code and don't know how to comment just check the checkbox for any of the videos it doesn't matter and then you're going to be able to run all of this code uh, really easily so I'm just going to copy all of this come back over to my Chrome console, paste it all in, and I'm gonna hit enter. It's going to look like nothing is happening, but just wait. You will know when it's done, uh, because one, you'll see all the checkboxes that show up, and then right below this, it's gonna throw out, it'll say downloaded, and then a number for you, that'll, the very first time you run it, it'll be zero. And then the remaining to be downloaded will also show up, and that will be, uh, obviously, whatever the number is that needs to be downloaded. Bingo. There we go. So now it says downloaded zero remaining to download 1102. And so this is that you'll see this from time to time. It's going to ask me to put my credentials in. So keep your password, you know, handy or whatever. Then you'll see this pop up where it says, please wait while we gather your videos. This may take up to three minutes. Please don't close the window. So just wait. And what will happen is eventually it will pop up with the download queue. And then you'll be able to save that file uh, and, and download it to your local computer. If the files actually download correctly, then the thing will pop up. You can click save. This one looks like it didn't, so I'm going to go ahead and just click man manually click download again, and we'll see if the thing pops up this time. So if that happens to you, no, it's not out of the ordinary, I guess. All right, so when it finally pops up, it's going to download a zip folder or zip file, which you can see here. Uh, and so you're just going to want to save that wherever is most convenient for you. Uh, and then you'll keep saving them. Um, the file names inside are named in the date time sequence. And so you can be careful though, because you can actually wind up with uh, duplicates. So they add on this string at the end. So that's why I have the script check for the downloaded thing. Um, if you ever do wind up uh, downloading duplicates. There's this really cool thing that I've used before called Easy Duplicate Finder. Um, it's a free program. Um, let's see, Easy Duplicate Finder. And there's some other, yeah, I think, yeah, this is it. Uh, find or remove duplicate files fast. They've got a like free version of it and stuff like that. I think this is one. There's some others out there. But if you're paying attention to what you're doing and you download all of them in one day, uh, then you should be fine in terms of not having to worry about um, deduplicating the files or whatever. Uh, just because, you know, you'll have downloaded all of them. This little downloaded thing won't disappear on you like it has for me. Uh, but I had to download like 4,000 files. So that's why I did this. So uh, you can see these are selected. It says downloaded. So inside of your console, if you just press the up arrow, it automatically loads the last script that you ran. And so you can just click the upload air upload button or up arrow button <laughs> and it'll keep loading this script. And so you just hit enter and then it's going to do the exact same thing that it just did again. Uh, it's going to go in. It's going to make sure that these basically it's not present that it's not going to click on any of the ones that are there. It is also going to deselect them first uh, so that you know that uh, you're not again downloading the same things. And we'll wait just a second for this, and then you'll see what that looks like here in just a second. There we go. Okay, and so again, it clicked the download button, and it's going to go through uh, and, and do all the different download pieces there. 
um, and it'll pull up the little file thing again and it'll ask you to download that yet again you'll wind up with another one of those zip files so that's all there is to it you just have to keep rerunning this script until you have downloaded everything um, i hope this was helpful to folks um, my my name is ellis bennis i own floating axe technologies which is a website design and digital marketing firm if you ever need help with that floatingaxe.com uh, otherwise i hope this little video was helpful have a great day